They get to Randall. Ooh, we got those? We don't got those. Yeah. You ever played Ken? I have. I had his first tournament back, I actually played Ken. You ever teamed with Ken? Yep, at his first tournament back. What's your favorite thing about Melee? How expressive it is. How you can be yourself. It's so dope. My, Falcon, my friend thinks Falcon has no winning matchups. Would you agree or disagree? I mean, I would personally disagree. Get over there. Hardest god to play against. Um, On average, it was probably Armada. Just because he would grind you out no matter what. Like, he just always did good stuff and he would always bring something new a lot of the time if you beat him. Favorite non-tournament melee moment. When Chudat said, you can't both be town in the first Mafia game he played at Summit. I don't know if it's actually my favorite, but if that isn't one of the funniest things I've ever seen in melee, it's up there. What are my thoughts on Leffen picking up Sheik? I actually watched Leffen's video on that. His reasoning was very interesting, but it seems like he's still fleshing out the character, so I don't really know. I think it's a worthwhile experiment. I am curious to see how it goes. I mean, if you want to pick up another character, now's a good time, right? Like, because you have so much time to practice them. But you're into stupid melee tags and Slippy Online? Nope, everyone's tag is very cool and not silly in melee, like mine. If you could go back in time and tell yourself in the past something, what would it be? Um, probably just I love you. Melee has always been about tier discussion, not about practice, not about how well you do in tournament. It's about telling some other nerd on the internet that you know the truth and they don't. You just noticed the mango poster? Well, it's here for you, gamer. Most annoying Falco one in ranked he full hop so much. Yeah, dude, it took me like a solid year, year and a half of thinking about how to beat full hop as a top player to beat full hop. So I, t I feel you, homie. How do you feel about homie stocks in tournament? <coughs> I don't like them. I will only very, very rarely homie stock. Attorney. Imagine playing it yourself. What would be your biggest difficulty? Probably knowing what I'm going to do. Freaking cheater. Why does he know what I'm gonna do? Heck that guy. Not kissing his handsome opponent, probably. Uh, do you think it's worth it to stop focus in order to think about different options you should have done while in friendlies? Yeah, I do. Especially between stocks or between games. You planning on learning how to pivot as Marth? Yep. I can do it some. Oh, frick. Like, I just did it there, but... to pivot F tilt there by accident. But you get the idea. I mean, I can do it. I just don't, I just don't think it's reliable enough for me yet. If you were a cashier at grocery, you would hope I came to your aisle. Would you flirt with me? Would you make it weird? Here's the thing, homie. It's not, the only way to make people respect is to play, is to play straight up. Is to just keep going and doing better. Focus on the people that support you. Focus on actually getting better. You give all that energy to them saying that you're not skilled and you're going to not play up to your potential. You're not going to learn up to your potential and you're going to fall flat. And you're basically going to prove them right by thinking about what they're thinking so much. But if you actually grind your, grind your game out and you improve fundamentally as much as possible, not only are they just going to be wrong about your gameplay, but they're, either them or other people are going to be more vocal respecters of your play in time. So I would say this is a good opportunity for you, and uh, I hope you keep pushing. Yeah.
<laughs> you check out the DVD tournament. There was a lot of hag actually, jackpots. It was pretty funny, honestly. You are my fave new game player. Wow, thanks. <laughs> That's cool. That was cheeky. <laughs> nice to meet you, by the way. I just happen to be a good gamer. And then the like, and then the fire flares up behind you, and there are fireworks and. Women fall at your feet and money rains down from heaven. It's so cool being a god gamer. Well, that could have went very differently. Close. I should get my practice my pivots now. That's cool. I did it. Okay. Are you gonna practice your pivots? I practiced them. We're good now. We're good at the video game. What do I do if I see HBox at the grocery store? Probably run towards him and give him a hug because he is a nice man. Aww. Aww. Everybody liked that. Which of the gods would you most want to have your cashier at a grocery store? Armada because he wouldn't play no heckin' games. Like, if Mango was my cashier, I'd be there for like half an hour. He'd be like messing with me and the whole store would be there. Mewtwo King, who knows? The store might explode. Hbox would probably be alright. He might say something weird, but I think it'd be fine overall. Our mod is just the easiest. My favorite player to watch? If I had to pick one, I'd probably pick none, but I like a lot of players. I like IBDW, I like Moki. I like Leffen when he's playing good. Make your OnlyFans just push-ups. People would be mauled. They'd be paying like $5 for some sweet tushy and they'd just be getting push-ups. Heck nah. They ain't gonna go for it. You gotta dare him. True. Let me dare him. Dude, this is BS. He's power shielded. Frick. All right, I down here again. Chat asking good questions, but also debating Mango's net worth. I'm unsure what to do. Can you make a tier list of melee players by net worth? Mango is in his own tier. And then there's everyone else. Oh, the little wave dash going through. Do you ever intentionally try to put your opponent on tilt? No, it's one of those things where I can kind of see it's happening and kind of play into it a little bit, but I don't, it's not something I go out of my way to do. How do you deal with cloudy thinking? Um, one of the easiest things you can do is just meditate more. Um, that, that, if you meditate and exercise together, that really can clear up your thinking so much. Would highly recommend the combination. Uh, when people do stuff that is hard, they don't talk about it at first because they're like, oh, I don't want to complain, I don't want people to think I suck, or they just give up or whatever. But the people that do it for a while then go on and talk about it. So then you're like, well, I'm not doing it like they're doing it. You have to... Sucking is the first step to not sucking at something. To put it in the Zoomer way. Are you on TikTok? Frick, man. <laughs> I, that question might not be ironic, and it's freaking me out. Heckin' zoomers and your newfangled technology. I don't like it. Back in my day, we didn't have technology. I give up, Pond. Yeah, they. people are going to say I'm not going to edge dash till the end of time. 
I'll be, I'll be like getting first in tournaments. Man, why don't you wedge dash? Be like, okay. I don't know why. I just hate wedge dashing. It's just so hard. <sighs> Who is the person without glasses? It's Leffen. Mango's back there. New mugs look sick. When did you get them? I actually got them. I I put them in on Sunday. This man wants a heck and shield grab real bad. I think Roy or Mart's down tilt is inherently better. I think Mart's is better because it's be it rewards spacing still. How much for the mango poster? <laughs> if I say a hundred dollars, will you pay it? It feels like all new marts copy Zane's neutral, which is just aggressively dash backing rather than figuring out their own playstyle. Yeah, it's been like that forever, Jerb. When I started playing, Mewtwo King was the hot Marth, Mewtwo King and Ken. But Mewtwo King was the dominant one or becoming the dominant one. And I played like a worse version of Mewtwo King when I started. Um but and I think it's just like when you don't, when you're not sure how to learn the game, you look to what is being what is being successful, and you emulate that. I don't think that's necessarily bad, um, but yeah, I mean there can be more to it, and I think as people get better, more of their own stuff does inherently come out. I find it's also more common if you played fighting games to deviate from melee meta more, uh, to bring out your own stuff. Uh, it just kind of depends. I think there's a lot of variables that go into uh, when you can bring out your own stuff. Have you ever had to defend yourself from a wild animal when I got hexed by that duck? I'm just doing it. Sometimes you just get into Falco mode chat and you just start doing it. You can spam stale attacks, but you can't spam stale memes. You can. Um, people still talk about skilled Roy. What was the world like when Mango and Hbox hated each other? Imagine today watching your stream for a while and you're pretty good but one thing I've noticed you don't seem to be using Falco's reflector correctly it's meant to reflect projectiles back at your opponents if you use it I think you could really up your game so I timed him out for uh, five seconds so no one thinks I'm toxic but we don't tolerate that casual nonsense in here obviously this is a serious stream It's so cool. Aww. GG. Okay. All right, you just cover everything with that. All right, I forgot. Yeah, yeah. Wumple, thank you for the prime. That combo was for you. Wow, 
Why are you so toxically good at the game? What does that even mean? 2D women or 3D women? 3D. TBH. Not even close for me. Alright gamers, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you guys for the lurks, follows, and thank you guys for playing. Thank you for the new subs, thank you for the lurks, memes, all that good stuff. I'm out of here, I'll be back a couple days. Love ya, bye.